Chinese President Xi Jinping salutes the armed forces on National Day for the first time at the heart of Beijing on Tuesday to mark the 70th anniversary of the founding of the People's Republic of China. Standing in a black open rooftop limousine, Xi, also General Secretary of the Communist Party of China Central Committee and Chairman of the Central Military Commission, had a clear bird's eye view of the formations of the armed forces lining up along Chang'an Avenue. Thousands of servicemen and women marched through the square, armoured vehicles rumbled through and fighter jets flew by and painted the skies in different colours. The parade consisted of 15,000 personnel, 580 pieces of armaments and more than 160 aircraft in 15-foot formations, 32 armament formations and 12 echelons. The National Day Parade was the first of its kind since socialism with Chinese characteristics entered a new era and the first overall demonstration of Chinese armed forces after their comprehensive reform and restructuring in recent years. 70年前的今天, 从此站起来了，中华民族走上了实现伟大复兴的壮阔道路。Unlike the National Day Parade 70 years ago, in which many weapons of the People's Liberation Army were foreign-produced ones seized from rival troops on the battlefield, all armaments showcased in the parade today were homemade. New weapons from the Dongfang-41 Intercontinental Strategic Nuclear Missiles, H-6 and long-range strategic bombers to new models of drones accounted for 40% of all armaments showcased in the parade. Among the several formations appearing for the first time in a National Day Parade was China's peacekeeping forces. The country has remained the largest contributor of peacekeepers among the five permanent members of the UN Security Council. Currently, 2,500 Chinese soldiers and officers are serving in seven peacekeeping missions across the world. We have presented a refreshed image after reform and restructuring, said Yi Xiangguang, commander-in-chief of the military parade. Chinese armed forces will always be a defender of the people and national security of China and world peace. China will stay on the path of peaceful development, she said in his National Day speech. We will continue to work with people from all countries to push for jointly building a community with a shared future for humanity.